Now, what I want to show you today is how you can add routes to a local module and not the global module. Okay. Sometimes you do that uh, just because you want to, or maybe because it's easier to maintain your code. Uh, so I'm going to do this example. And let me close all of these. And notice we did last time was we added a module called the uh, footer nav module, OK? The footer nav module, and I mentioned that only module, you know, ng module, can be used to store or create a routing, OK, routes. Okay? You cannot create in the component. It must be in here. So let's say that, I mean, for demonstration purposes, if you look at our app routing module here, OK, these are all our routes. And they're all managed in the uh, uh, main module. What if I want to create another route, or maybe two more routes, to load the, um, you know, what I have, the demo? OK, I just showed the demo here, OK? So the demo uh, component, because right now we don't have that in here. Right? It's not being used in our code at all as in the app component. Initially, it was up here somewhere. I think I deleted it, so we don't have that anymore. OK, so we navigate to the demo. It's going to render right in the, um, the router outlet here. OK, so that means in the route, I could add it here if I want to. Right, it's easily added here. But I'm going to add it to the footer nav module just because I can. I mean, usually you create another module to uh, store different types of navigation. But uh, instead of having, you know, create another one, I just put it here. Any module will, will, will be fine. Uh, this one doesn't make sense, but I should put it here just so we, we understand. OK, so the first thing is we're going to create um, the routes. So we have a constant routes or type route. Okay, as you can see, it imported automatically for us right here. Um, and then we're going to, so if you look at this model here, it's exactly the same as this. Um, okay, it needs to be in the routes. It has to be routes and router module. This two, these two are needed, okay? So what I have was, is a different one. Um, we need to import that, and we create our routes here, and then we have to in, uh, import the module and then also export it, two of them. You need both. So here, I think it's the wrong one. Yeah, the routes one. We don't need this. We need that one. It's going to be a, a type of array, I mean, a list. And in this example, we just have one, <clears throat> one route. Okay, uh, it's not being used. Okay, uh, I haven't used it yet. So in here we're going to have a the first is going to say demo. Okay, that's a demo route, and the component is going to be of type uh, demo component. Okay, it imports that for us automatically here, and that's all we need for this one. It's only one route. And then now we're going to go in here. We're going to add the imports here. In addition to the common module, we're going to add here the routes dot for um, uh, root. Um, what do I have here? Yeah, the router module for root. And it, there are three options for the for root here. It doesn't show here, but it should show three of them. Let me see. Route module. Okay, it imports that here. We need both of these. That, if I put four, you see the four root, uh, four child. And there's actually one more, it's not shown here. Uh, what this one does is that if you put four child, that means this route will only work in uh, under this uh, module. It does not work outside of this module. Okay, and you will probably, you know, kind of rare to have four child modules. So usually everything will be for the root. I mean, it's, it's accessible in the main application. So usually all your routes will be the for root here. Okay, so put the for root, and then what are the routes? The routes are stored inside this routes variable here. So we call it routes here, 
right? Um, <clears throat> Okay, cannot be used in the next graphic here. Routes, okay, fine. So, so all your routes are in here. Of course, you could put, you know, this whole thing here inside here, right? You don't want to do that. You do it separately outside and just a variable name, you pass it to that function and it will register that for you. So once you imported that route in here, we need to also export this module out, just that one. So I'm going to add it here as well, the router module. Okay, so now it's going to be used in this folder module. And because we imported that into the main module here, here is the footer nav module, right? We add it down here, right here. And it's imported. And then now, so if I navigate to that link, it should work. And I'm going to go and add a link to my um, navigation. You don't have to do this. I just want to show you how, how this works. Go in the component, the models here, and that data. OK, so let's say I'm going to add another one here. And it's going to be just demo. And I'm going to show this demo and act if it's false. OK, so add that to the navigation and now app. So let me close this. So here it is. Okay, so this works just like before, right? About flights and then the demo. Okay, notice that it didn't, it goes there. The URL is there. It's correct. It sticks. But the content did not load. Um, why does it go to the home page, right? Okay, it did not load. And the reason why is this. So this is kind of be. When you have a router inside a module and you export that out and import to the app module this way, you have to be really careful because the order of how these modules are imported are important. So notice this footer module is imported or added here after the app route module. That's important because this one here has its, has its own um, route called a demo route. But in the root module, there is a catch all route here. Okay? So the catch all, um, you know, precedes this footer module. So therefore, this is like adding, I'm adding this to the end of this list. It looks like that. Okay, so that's why I reach it, but this one is, it catches this demo URL. And then it shows the home component. So therefore, I will never reach what I want here. Because this one is rendered right after the router module. Okay, so when you do this way, make sure that this must be added before the routing module or the module that contains the catch-all. Otherwise, it won't work. So that is a really tricky part. And sometimes we add module, you don't really care much. But if in this scenario, because they are, they are controlled by one you know, global route, it's important to put in order. So now if I go back, it should work. As you can see, it loads the correct content because now the catch all is below it. So if I go back to like, uh, demos and you go back to the home page because this is the catch all and the rest will work just as fine. All right. So that's the uh, nested module um, that has its own routes.